Hello YouTubers, a uh, bit of a different video for me today, filmed in painting did a shaky cam, um, so I got a really shit uh, camera. We're going to take a look at something I picked up in uh, Maplins the other day, um, when I was off buying uh, bits of my uh, new PC, which is why I've been away for a, a few weeks building a new computer after my last one died. Um, I saw this sat, uh, sat on the shelf in Maplins, it's uh, an old Competition Pro joystick. I think that was the name of it. Anyway, I remember this from back in the day. I didn't never owned one of these, um, but it took my interest. Uh, obviously, it's a USB um, retro joystick, USB connects to your PC, and I thought, like, you know, what the hell? It was about I don't know, fifteen, twenty to twenty quid. I can't remember the price now. Probably roughly what you would have paid for the joystick back in the day, anyway. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the box first. Uh, okay. So what you get with this, obviously the joystick, and you also got a CD of the uh, um, Commodore 64 Classics. I've um, got 99, 99 games on that CD, so I thought, hey, what the hell, that's a nice added bonus. Something to test it out with. Uh, yeah, there you go, USB connector, original micro switches, and games collection. Uh, it's from uh, Speedlink. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, what else is on the box. I've got all uh, Dr. Rations on this now, anyway. Okay, got a game list there. I'm not sure whether you can see that from the camera or not. Ah, bugger. Um, but what have we got there? Well, I'm going to list, there's hundreds of them. Uh, I can see, what have we got? Uh, Boogie Boy. Uh, da -da -da. Attack of the Mutant Camels, awesome. I've always wanted to try that. Bomb Jack, Chucky Egg. Uh, Cybernoid 1 and 2, they stand out to me. Uh, da, da, da. Ghosts and Goblins, sweet. Da, 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 da. Italy 90 Soccer, I always love my soccer games. Live and Let Die. Actually, a lot of these are sort of from Elite, actually. Looks like they've uh, struck a deal with Elite Software. They're, perhaps they exist in some new form of another company. Paperboy, there. Du, 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 Return of the Mutant Camels, nice. Ah, uh, Space Harrier, yeah, an awful lot of elite games. Oh, Turrican 1 and 2, sweet, okay. World Championship Soccer, I still like my soccer games, Zynaps, stuff. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what else have we got in the back here? Alright, USB connector, original one, yeah, we've already seen it on the front cover. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, okay. Digital USB joystick featuring micro switches, yeah, 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 four buttons, featuring that original 80 sound, okay, auto fire mode, nice, on the back of the base, extremely robust sprung metal stick, no driver needed, okie dokie, system requirements, Windows 2000 XP Vista, Windows 7, nice, anything else? The usual safety information on the bottom there. Oh, right, anyway, let's get this box opened. I've had it open once. I'm not actually, this, this will be the first time of plugging it in and giving it a go. So let's take a stack of butchers. So there we go, the joystick in the cellophane. I've already had it out, as I said. Oh, that looks lovely. No suckers on the bottom. I don't know if the original competition pro joystick came with suckers keep it on the table and be uh... oh that's nice and stiff that is oh let's just listen to the sound of those micro switches might be quite difficult trying to control with one hand if I'm going to be showing you some games two fire buttons well this is I never owned one of these before in, in you know in the retro days and stuff I don't know if this is quite difficult to sort of reach the fire buttons with you one hand on the stick. So you have one hand there, then you're going to have to have one hand sort of coming around here. And have an awkward arched finger on the other fire button. Hmm, don't know about that. Oh, we got two, uh, two more fire buttons there. Nice. Where's the uh, auto fire? I guess that there must be the auto fire switch. It's, it's not labelled as such. Okay. What we got on the bottom there? Okay. Rightio. 
Oh, it's nice. It's, I, I like how it's transparent and you can see all the inner workings there. That's always pretty cool. Okay, so what else have we got in the uh, box? So let's tip this out. So that must be the CD, obviously. <laughs> Instructions. Okay. Best of the C64 classics. Nice. Do we really need instructions for this? Pretty obvious stuff. Connect the joystick to a USB port. Insert the CD for the games. Play the games. Hmm. Okay. I guess we just need to plug it in. So, I'm just going to get the cellophane off this. Bear with me. Right, that's all the cellophane off. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and plug this chisel in. Right. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, nice and tight connection there. Ooh, right, okay. Looks like it's already detected it. Focus. Focus. Oh, successfully installed. And ready to use. Damn it, I'm not sure what this focus is going to be like. Whether you can see that or not. Okay, suppose I ought to check whether it's uh, installed properly. Where would I find this? Hardware and sounds. I'm not used to Windows uh, 7. Uh, devices and printers. Device manager. Sound and video game controllers. Not there. Okay, I hope we're going to be able to use this with uh, emulation. Oh, we're back to the same place. Okay. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's plug in this uh, CD. And uh, see what we can. See if this works or not. Come on, there you come. Okay. Okay, we've finally got the CD picked up. And uh, we've got it installing now, uh, but it's all in uh, German <laughs> for some reason. And away we go. I still can't bloody find uh, in the Windows 7 control panel uh, the joystick section. It used to be an XP, um, an area where you could uh, look at your. Um, gaming controls or whatever, um, joysticks and stuff. It's no longer part of Windows 7, so I hope it works. Okay, well that's installed. In German. Oh, god damn this focus. Okay. This program may not have installed correctly. This is probably installed correctly. I don't fucking know. Uh, all right. Well, let's try it. Oh, there we go. Does appear to have worked. It's got stupid music. Let's take that off. Uh, okay, let's have a look. What have we got? I want to have a look at ghosts and goblins. Oh, it's okay. So they've used uh, they've used voice. Um, let's, shall we see if the joystick's been noticed? What's happened here? Ah, Speedlink Competition Bro. There we go. 
So it's a bit of a cheat really, they've just basically nicked a uh, Vice emulator and it's not even sort of really set up for the joystick to work out the box. Okay, looks like we're getting there. Uh, nice. Right, let's uh how do we uh get full screen here? Alt and D. Oh gosh, I've now got the part of the sun on the screen now. How do we start? Right, I'm back again. No idea how um, you start Ghosts and Goblins. Perhaps it's a bug. But let's have a look at Attack of the Mutant Camels instead. Loading. <whistles> Incidentally, while that's loading... Oh, here we are. Actually. There we go. Right, press fire to start the game. Yay! Let's have a look. Oh, can we? Yay! The joystick works! We can see that. Oh gosh. Not very well uh, thought out this, uh, this video. Right, let's put this uh, full screen, see if this works. Ooh, the graphics have gone all weird. Well... What on earth has happened? Okay, so... Uh, Looks like this version of Vice they've used doesn't like full screen in Windows 7. But anyway, I can assure you this uh, the joystick works all right. The question is, does the, does the auto fire work? Switching auto fire on. And now it bloody doesn't. Okay, so auto fire doesn't work. Ah. But uh, okay, well this, you know, for what it is, uh, I don't personally, I'm not a big fan of this kind of joystick. Uh, it's not my favourite joystick of the uh, retro gaming days. My favourite would be this one. The Conic Speaking. I just love how that used to fit in the palm of your hands. As you can see there. Lovely. But, I don't see it. I um, found a USB version of this. Not, no one's bothered to re-release it. They have this. And this works really well. It should fulfil all your retro gaming needs for sure. But yeah, well worth the 15-20 uh, quid. And I'll see if it works in uh, emulators Okay guys, lastly, as promised, I'll just, I was going to test this out on uh, other emulators and, uh, and then I'll, I'll just give a quick summary review. I um, found this does work in Win8, uh, the Amstrad CPC emulator. And we see there we've got Ghouls and Ghosts loaded up on the go. Let's uh, hit the fire button. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not angling this very well. I don't know if you can see this. There we go. There you go. Moving left, right, jumping. So yeah, that does work. I find this really awkward though because you have to um, let's turn this down a little, turn the volume down a little bit. You basically have to use uh, two hands. And the way you achieve this is if I uh, can just put the uh, camera down for a second. Oh, died there. You've got joystick in one hand, and then you've got to come round and hold 
basically with the other hand holds the uh, joystick down really really firmly because it's really quite hard to actually uh, get the directions you need sometimes especially in a game like Ghosts and Goblins where you need to be jumping quite a lot I don't like the idea that you have to basically be holding down the joystick constantly especially when you've got a slippery surface like this otherwise you're just never going to be able to get your direction you need so I think it really needs suction cups I mean, stick to a desk um, but after doing a little bit of research it looks like the uh, original competition pro didn't come with uh, suckers either so uh, uh, you know not that impressed I mean it's not, it, for me it doesn't beat the conic speed king however it's a good little slice of retro goodness and as you can, as you can tell there it does work let's just uh, reset win ape um, the only disappointment was the well let's just try all the directions as you can see there left oh, god it's really difficult on one hand left right down up fires the only thing is the auto fire does not work so if we it should be this switch here unless it's Unless I'm missing something. My hairy arms. Sorry. Oh, hang on. I think I know. I think it does work, actually. If I hit the... I'm, right, if I hit the fire button and hold it down, nothing happens. Okay. But, with, with it switched across to the left, if I hit the fire button and hold it down... Uh, very, very, very slowly does it kind of auto-fire. Holding it down. Well, that's not particularly impressive. If I just, if I turn the micro switch, trust me I will to the other side oh stops so I'm still holding the fire button down as you see there if I flip the switch across now it way it goes again but not particularly quickly so the auto fire is not particularly impressive then but yeah even so it's not bad um, um, I'm sure you can probably pick these up on Flea Bay or, or, or the like for a lot cheaper than what I paid new. Um, I mean the, uh, the the CD of the you know the C64, which is basically a bunch of free games uh, they got a license for with the free Vice emulator. You can get that all yourself free online anyway. It doesn't really add much to the package, but I suppose it's a nice convenient bonus. Um, but yeah, it's not bad for 10 or 20 quid. I'm sure you can pick this up, I said, on Flea Bay or something for probably less than that, 5 quid or something like that. And I think you've got yourself a really good bargain there. Um, these fire buttons on here, though, uh, don't seem to be recognised or working. Maybe just an emulator issue. Besides, most 8 bit games, you never use their uh, 4 or 5 buttons anyway. But however, for me, guys, the Reigning King is still the speed king and uh, uh, we need a USB version of this re-released for sure anyway thanks for watching guys I give this package and joystick a 7 out of 10 thanks for watching cheers bye